Hello, this is a demonstration of the Marketing Data Management System, MDMS. My name is Scott Matson. Uh, this is going to be a demo and it's going to be very quick. Uh, I'm going to run through the features of this system, explain exactly what it does along the way. Essentially, it's uh, everything you need to uh, do marketing um, data, prepare marketing data for direct marketing campaigns, either direct mail, email, or telesales. We'll start out with uh, ETL, extra, uh, Extract, Transfer, and Load. Uh, this is the load part of the system. Uh, and the system, this is designed not as a, uh, a web-based tool. This is an internal tool, but it could easily be adjusted to a web-based tool. Uh, you can create a database here and select a different server you want or select a database. I set up a, a test database here. So I'm going to select the database. This is where you upload data, so I'm going to come out here. I've just got a bunch of test data here. This is a, a tab delimited a text ASCII file. I'm going to load this as a selected as a mail file. I'm going to upload the file. And it takes a second here. It's mapping. This allows me to map all the fields. In this case, I happen to know all these fields are mapped correctly, so all I have to do is done. So I'm going to go on and do another one. This is Excel 2003. Uh, I'm going to upload this as a mail file. Again, all the fields are mapped correctly, so I just say done. I'm going to upload an Excel 2007 file as a mail file of that. Done. I'm going to uh, upload a CSV, comma separated values. Upload. And done. And I'm going to load up. This one has uh, columns that don't match uh, our standard. And we have to map the fields. So in this case, so I have to map the name one, which is essentially a full name field. you got address two. Uh, I've got to map that. Second line of address. Here's delivery address. The main delivery address. I have to map that. There's city. So the fields could be named whatever you want in your data, but you just have to map them to something that we understand. This is zip. All the other fields that you know we don't require country should map that. Um, like store, county, income, investments. You know We don't have to map those because we just carry those through the system because we don't really use them as part of our process. Uh, I'm going to come back here. Um, this is a matching file. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select this as a match file. I'm going to upload that. Uh, all the columns are mapped correctly, so I'm just going to say done. That's uh, to match records, obviously. Here's a radius. This could be a store file, a branch file, whatever you want to calculate radius from. And you come down here and you tell the system this is a radius file, and you upload that. I'm also going to upload a seeds file because you want to seed your file to know that your mailing or email went out correctly. So I have to tell it it's a seeds file, and I upload that. So in a few minutes, I loaded up, I don't know, four or five different formats, um, multiple different types of files, and they're all ready to process. So the next step is you come over here to submit a job. Uh, this first step is a series of uh, radio buttons that you click telling it uh, what options you want. So the first one is uh, I want to load the data and assign a unique ID essentially is what this is doing. This is a clean data option. What this option does, you can either do yes or no on all of these. Um, what this does is it removes double spacing like if it's Bill Space Space Smith or it can remove punctuation or, or do left right trim, general data cleanup. Address fixing will do things like uh, if uh, it's a zero, if they left off the zero in the front of the zip code, it's smart enough to add that. Uh, it'll try to append suites to make uh, one line of address, which the USPS prefers. This does exactly what it says. It identifies foreigns. This eliminates repeating data. If name one was uh, Bill Smith and name two was Bill Smith, it would remove the second one so you're not sending out a piece that says Bill Smith, Bill Smith. Uh, name two truncation is a client-specific truncation uh, that we run. Um, uh, this is cache. You can either run it with LaxLink or without LaxLink or don't run it at all, so run it with LaxLink. Here's NCOA. You can either update or flag the records, usually flag for suppression. 
geocoding is assigning a latitude and longitude for radius calculations from a store. It'll calculate the distance for you. Here's casing. You got upper, lower, all upper, no casing. Here's scrubbing phones. This will flag a phone as invalid. It uh, removes special characters. It um, you know, just checks for valid phones. The email does a similar thing. It will go through and it'll scrub emails. If it says uh, at AOL and they don't have the .com, it will append .com, try to make the email correct. Um, here's duplication. There are several different types of duplication. You want to move duplicates from your data. You got exact name and address, address only, exact. You got a tight match. Uh, you got a tight match on company and tight match on last name or no deduplication. This is flagging vulgar words, which has saved me more than once. Uh, this is flagging no mail keywords, we call them. There's things in here like deceased or do not mail. It flags those types of things. Uh, this is a hosted customer file that you can flag records. And here's a hosted DNS, do not solicit file that you could flag records. Uh, this is the uploaded matching file that we did. You could run and flag records for the match file or you could run and append columns if you have to append data or do no matching. Same thing with suppression. You could actually remove the records or just flag them. This tells it that you want to run the radius or not. In this case, you would have to have a radius file associated. And this tells me I want to run input reports, which are essentially QC reports. Anything you wanted to suppress, if you found foreign, you could suppress those. You could suppress CAS errors. You could suppress NCOA errors. Just check what you want to check and then hit Enter. A few minutes later, the thing will process. I'm not going to process this now because it takes a little bit of time. I'm going to go over to input reports because I've already processed this job. Here's a series of input reports for quality control. Uh, you can click here. This is um, a list report. It shows all the lists and counts I loaded up. This is blank fields data. This is all made up data. Uh, essentially, this is here because you, know, you have blank city state uh, zip there. Uh, special characters it identifies any special characters. Here's a no mail keyword, you know, do not mail is one no mail keyword add in this test data. Here's a dump of everything, the whole file, if you want to look at the dump of the whole file. Here's a state report. Here's a vulgar report. Uh, here's potential foreign. Sometimes we can't tell if it's a foreign. If we know, we're not sure it's a domestic record, it goes into the potential foreigns and you can fix them if it is a foreign or leave it alone and it will stay a domestic record. Um, here are the ones we are sure is a foreign. Um, here's the P.O. boxes. Here's uh, anything with a number and a name. Sometimes we get account numbers and names. Uh, here's something with no numbers and address. You can kind of look at those. And here's a chance to manually fix records. You could come through here and you could actually change any record. Uh, you could come up here and put an update reason code on it. Or you could come in here and key in a suppression code, whatever you wanted, and it would actually suppress that record and hit save and you're done. So that's the input process. Uh, here's a cell assignment. I'm going to clear this for right now. I'm going to do cell assignment. I'm going to do cell assignment based on, um, I don't know, let's do country. Let's do um, state. Find state here. State. Add that. So it's, it's adding. It's appending the fields as I add them. And I'm going to do city. Now add that. So here's a combination. What it does is lays out a combination of country, state, and city. And you can go ahead and assign the cell codes here. Uh, I'll assign that to A. I'll assign this one to B. I'll assign this one to C. I'll assign this one to C also. Why not? And I'll assign this one to C also for the fun. Okay, uh, here's cell numerics. This is just a way, this appends these numbers to the end of a cell. It helps you classify um, the cell codes. Uh, if you don't want to suppress and you want to identify four, and you could put a number here, it would have the cell and that number three. Uh, then you would come. Then you would come over here. You would submit this to build the final mail file and build the output reports. And here's the output reports. I don't have time to go through them all, but essentially a waterfall report would show your suppressions. Here's your matching reports, your suppression reports. Matching report would show you know here's the match. Here are the matches, um, and this would show the original file and the match result file. Uh, my time is up. 
this is a complete demo of the system. It does quite a few things. A lot of address cleansing makes it as easy as possible. It ends up with a, a file that you could send to a letter shop or a file that you could return. You could export it into Excel and do whatever you want with it. It appends all the fields for analysis. Um, or here's a, a file ready for the letter shop. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Here's my